God still wants that one-on-one mega conference with you and I today. Just like he did with the woman at the well, as she meditated on his word, she submitted herself to God, and during that process, she was resisting the devil. She was drawing nigh to God, and God was drawing nigh to her. This is what God desires for us today. If we would just take time to be with him and his word today. Good morning and praise God from whom all blessings flow. And our meditation will continue today in the book of St. John chapter 4. And we're going to start at verse 28 to 30. And it reads thus, The woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and said to the man, Come see a man which told me all things that even I did. Is not this the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. The question I pose to you today and me, what happens after we pray? What happens after we read the word? What happens after we finish a service of thanksgiving with the saints? Do we go back to the same old, same old? Or are we changed like this woman at the well, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ? Indeed, God wants to reveal himself to us. God wants us to have a transformation with inside of us. More importantly, He wants to revive us so we may share the gospel like this woman at the well. Would you take time today to have conference with God? It will be a mega one. Give it a chance. God is waiting. Maybe not at the well, but whatever position or condition you may be in today, He's waiting to meet you at the point of your need. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful. We are thankful that you've given us another opportunity that we can come boldly to the throne of grace and obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. We commit this time to you today, knowing, God, that you wait for us. Hallelujah. You're ready for us. You want to give to us exactly what we need. And so we say thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the transformation. Thank you for the revival that our soul needs today as we confront with you in the name of the Father. We pray for those who lead the nation. We thank you for prime ministers. We thank you for presidents. We thank you for our prime ministers. And we pray as they go through this transition that you'll grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Touch now the medical professionals. Touch all professions today that are living out the things of God. We pray for the body of Christ. We pray for missionaries indeed, oh God. We pray for every ministry that is heralding the gospel of Jesus Christ today. May we be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might and doing what please you and you alone. Now, O God, we thank you for your power to heal and to deliver, your power to set free, your power to bring comfort to the bereaved, your power, O God, to bring salvation to those who are in bondage. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem and families everywhere. Let your will be done. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. And indeed, set that time today with God. It wouldn't cost you a dime, just your time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, have a great day in the Lord.